guys. Happy Saturday. It's January 30th of 2021. Here is today's scripture, and I believe this is going to be interesting. Let's pray first. Father, you are the one who gives us the knowledge for each of the scriptures. You are the one who provides the food and the drink in our lives. I am asking for us to get a deeper understanding of these verses. Help me to spread the message out to my fans and family to understand what this means. Thank you, Father, for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's get to studying. What are you searching for right now? What do you need? Whatever is on your mind, spend the next few minutes taking it to God before continuing. Oh yes, I know there is a lot on my mind to tell to God. I always have something to say every single day to Him. Here is what the scripture reads. Is anyone thirsty? Come and drink even if you have no money. Come, take your choice of wine or milk. It's all free. Why spend your money on food that does not give you strength? Why pay for food that does you no good? Listen to me and you will eat what is good. You will enjoy the finest food. We tend to go after things such as a car, a home, wealth, any sorts of such things. The things that cost money. We need to know this. The things we buy do not satisfy us. The only satisfaction will be to focus on Jesus, spending time in his word, spending time in prayer, spending time in worship. Here is a video of Pastor Herbert Cooper giving his version of the verses. Hey, I'm Herbert Cooper, senior pastor of People's Church, and the verse of the day is Isaiah chapter 55, verse 1 and 2. Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what does not satisfy? You know, in life, we can spend our time and our money on things that really do not satisfy. We can spend our time and money chasing after power, and it will not satisfy. Chasing after wealth and spending all of our time, all of our energy on something that will not satisfy. Maybe it's the car or the dream home or the dream vacation. And nothing's wrong with those things, but if you make that your pursuit in life, it will not satisfy. Maybe it's chasing after the dream guy or the dream girl. And hey, finding the right spouse is amazing. But I tell you, at the end of the day, if you make that your sole pursuit in life, it will not satisfy. Can I tell you what really satisfies is pursuing Jesus pursuing the things of God, keeping your heart and your focus on God, on his word, on prayer, on worship. Jesus is the only thing that will satisfy. Wow, feeling the same. Here's a question to think of. In what way do you need to draw near to God today? Through prayer and praise, through intentional Bible study, through personal quiet time, spend time in nature, Oh my, all of these answers are pretty much what we need to do. Comment down below of what you think. Would you like to choose one of them or all of them? Well, in my opinion, I would like to do A and B. I need to do all of these. I really need to get in the habit of trying to get up very early in the morning, praying and praising to God first. Then I would do my Bible study intentionally. It's prison nature? Mm, I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know any place for it. The only place I know of is on my comfortable couch in the living room. Uh, get very comfortable on the cushions with the Bible in my hands and a cup of coffee in my hand, praying to the Father, getting into conversation with Him. Today's devotional comes from Having a Merry Heart in a Martha World by Joanna Weaver. What Jesus Didn't Say. I find it interesting that when Jesus corrected Martha, he didn't say, why can't you be more like your sister Mary? He knew Martha would never be Mary and Mary would never be Martha. But when the two were faced with the same choice to work or to worship, Jesus said, Mary has chosen the better part. To me, this implies the better part was available to both Mary and Martha. It's available 
to each one of us, regardless of our gifting or personality. It's a choice we each can make. The Bible isn't clear whether or not this was Jesus' first visit to the home in Bethany. Whatever the case, it isn't every day God visits your house. So Mary ignores tradition. She breaks social etiquette and she presses closer. It doesn't matter that she might be misunderstood. She cares little that the disciples look at her strangely. Somewhere in the distance, she hears her name, but it is drowned by the call of her master, the call to come, the call to listen. Again, this Bethany backdrop of unexpected guests, I see the struggle I face every day when work and worship collide. Part of me is Mary. I want to worship extravagantly. I want to sit at his feet. But part of me is Martha, and there's just so much to do. How do we choose to... How do we choose the better part and still get done what has to get done? Jesus is our supreme example. He was never in a hurry. Someone has said that Jesus went from place of prayer to place of prayer and did miracles in between. How incredible to be so in tune with God that not one action is wasted, not one word falls to the ground. That is the intimacy that Jesus invites us to share. He invites us to know him to see him so clearly that when we look upon him we see the face of god as well just as he welcomed mary to sit at his feet in the living room just as he invited martha to leave the kitchen for a while and share in the better part jesus bids us to come when in your life have you sensed jesus calling you to come sit at his feet how did you respond i never had that experience before i mean Jesus calling me to come sit at his feet. I never uh, heard uh, heard his voice telling me to come before him. Maybe it's just I wasn't even listening. I was just, as I was reading this devotional, it really got to my heart. I really want to be that type of Mary to sit at Jesus' feet, to be in his presence constantly and listen to his word. But I have been Martha a whole lot, doing a lot of work cooking dinner, cleaning kitchen, cleaning the house, going shopping for groceries, all of the things that I tend to worry about. Learning an important lesson, putting my uh, my attention, my focus on Jesus, and spending my time in prayer are the only ones that give me satisfaction. So let's just go ahead and just pray this prayer with me. God, before I do anything else today, I want to take this moment and give you the thanks you rightly deserve. I want to draw near to you and receive the strength and comfort I need. Please speak to me. Please give me your rest. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below of what you think of the verse and devotional. If you are new, uh, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell for notifications to receive new videos from me. Check out Winter Woodson's channel as well and see new, see new videos from her. Subscribe to hers and you will be part of the Woodson family. Do you have the YouVersion Bible app? If so, add me as a friend. All you have to do is search for Mary Woodson. I will accept your request and we can do studies together. If you do not have the app, you're more than welcome to uh, feel free to download it. This is what the icon looks like. And uh, once you got that downloaded, you can add me from there as well. And just remember this. Don't focus on the things in the world for they are just temporary. Uh, they won't satisfy you. None of these will never uh, none of these will never bring satisfaction to your life. The only satisfaction you will need is Jesus. You need to pursue him. Spend time in his presence. And spend time in his word. Uh, be in prayer with him. He is the only source that we need to feed on, not on the things that money buys. Have a wonderful day and God bless. You're a good, good father. It's who you are.